Hey guys, and welcome to an original retry of this production. Today I'll be offering my C++ tutorial number 16, teaching you about voiding and function prototypes in C++. So first, we'll cover off voiding your function in C++. So, when you void a function, you don't need a return value. So this is pretty helpful for a function. So to void a function, what you would do, just type in void, in lowercase, and then the name of the function. So I'll call it void username. You don't declare what type of function it is. You don't put int username, you put void username in the opening parentheses. And then we'll say, call it string, I'll call it string name. The parameter will be called string name, parenthes closing parentheses in a bracket. So in, the, in a function prototype, you don't need a return value, which is pretty handy. So what I can do, I can do C out. Let's say we're making an RPG game. What we can do is say, I'll say, welcome to my world. Quotation mark, closing quotations. Then I'll add two more carrots, but I won't end it there, so I'm not putting end L, the line won't end there, so I'll say name, so I'll say welcome to my world, and then it'll say name, which is our, which is the input, which we're going to put in, so name, end L, so it'll say welcome to my world, and then the input for our string name here will be our, will be what it says after that. So for welcome to my world space, then a closing bracket. So what I'll do, I'll just do username. I'll call the function username parentheses, and I'll say quotation marks. Retry this. Closing quotation marks parentheses and a semicolon. Now, as you can see here, since the fu actual function called for a C out, since the function username called for a C out, it says C out, welcome to my world, name. We don't have to C out the function in the main. So, instead, we can just put username, we try this, and the function will take care of the rest, and it'll C it out by itself. So instead of putting C out username, retry this, and L, we can just put username, retry this. Because the function calls for a C out by itself. So when we see this out to the console, let me fast forward this. I'm oh, sorry about that. So when we see this out, we have welcome to my world, retry this. As I said, the function itself calls for a C out, so it saw it out by itself. And since the input was retry this, welcome to my world, retry this. Because the parameter was name, and name went here. Since the parameter was name, and we saw out name in the C out statement, it saw out the input as well. So welcome to my world name. So that covers voiding that function. But let's talk about function prototypes. So I'm going to create a new function, but this function is going to be different because it's going to go after the main instead of before. If you don't know this, then I'll tell you now. C++ does stuff in order. It starts off from the top and it reads code down when, you're com when it's compiling. So the first thing you'll see in this case will be the function void username so it knows what to do. But since the function is after the main, and in the main I'm going to declare the function. So let's just, let me name it right now to better explain it. I'll call it print name, just as an example. So the function is going to be declared here in the main, but the actual function is after that I'm going to create. So C++ will issue an error, but we're going to add a function prototype to better 
for so C++ can understand it. So I'll create a function. Let's call it void print the name, like the function says. Parentheses. And I'll say string first, comma, string last. First and last name. Parentheses. Opening bracket. Then I'll say, um, in, oh no, string full name equals first plus last. See out full name and L. And the closing bracket. So the function exists after the main. And so I'm going to declare the function here. Let's say print name, put I'm out of space. Print name, I'll put uh, George. Quota in quotation marks, comma, uh, Washington, I don't know. more quotation marks in the parentheses and a semicolon. So what the function will do is it will print the name George Washington. But since the function, since the actual function is after the main, C++ will read it in order. And since the actual function is after the main, it will issue an error because it will read the function first, but it won't understand what to do because it hasn't read this yet. So when C++ is reading over it, it'll read this, but it won't understand what to do because the function is all the way down here, and it hasn't read it yet. So what we can do is we can put a function prototype in. So what we can do, we can copy and paste this. We can copy and paste the first line of our function without the, without the put bracket, copy, and we can paste it up here before the main. The only difference is we would add a semicolon at the end. So what the function prototype will do is when C++ is reading over it, it'll read it over and then it'll look at the function prototype. What the function prototype will tell the compiler to do, the function prototype will say the actual function is somewhere else. Go find it before continuing. So C++ will go look for the function, the actual function, that represents the prototype. So it'll look for this function before continuing. And then once it finds this function, it will know what to do, then it'll continue reading, and it will find the function and do it. So in other words, this just says, go find the actual function before continuing, so you know what to do. All this does, that's what it basically does. So we execute, compile and run. Fast forward there. And when we see it out, we have George Washington. I forgot to put a space. Uh, let me just, okay, that's better. Okay, that's a little bit better. And so the function saw out George Washington. Without the function prototype, it would have issued you a compiler error. So if I took this out, it would issue a compiler error because it wouldn't know what to do because it hasn't seen this yet. So we got the value of George Washington. And yeah, this has been an original retry of this production. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe.